Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is Murder Mystery Monday. Today's book that I want to recommend is A Cadenza for Caruso by Barbara Paul. This is definitely a backlist book. This was written in 1984 and it is set in New York City 1910. <clears throat> and this is another book that I've read just recently, but I had a lot of fun with this book. And one of the reasons is because the author included so much that was true history in this mystery. And so it was just so much fun. So um, <clears throat> I am going to read the back to you. And then I'm going to talk about a little bit about the book and why I enjoyed it. Murder, maestro, please. Stabbings, poisonings, stranglings. This is the stuff of grand opera, but it usually takes place on stage. Not so when the great Caruso arrives at the Met to rehearse Puccini's latest masterpiece, La Fanciula del West. The world's most magnificent tenor has barely begun practicing his scales when a small-time impresario brings a sour note into the performance. He gets murdered. Worse still, the police suspect Puccini. Now there is only one thing for the outraged Caruso to do. Switch roles from singer to detective and find the real killer. But snooping leads to secrets behind the scene and if Caruso isn't careful, murder may take an encore. All right, so there you have it. We have the main character is uh, tenor Caruso. And so this was one thing that I loved about the book is that Caruso is not the only historical figure in this book. Um, and the whole premise that he's there at the Met to rehearse for the world premiere of Puccini's opera all of that is true. So in 1910, the Met held their first ever world premiere for an opera, and it was Puccini's opera about, um, it's an opera that is set in California during the gold rush. And so at first when I was reading that, I thought that she made it up, but I actually went and did some research and he really did write this opera. It's one of his mature operas. Um, and uh, it's not, famous anymore and it's not put on very much but apparently it's a really good opera and it has a few really good arias and that you would probably find them on um like if you have like a collection of arias from from famous operas you will find one or usually you'll find one or two on on those types of collections so i thought that was really great that she grounded her mystery in this real historical event. Um, so the things that are based on fact, the opera, that it was a world premiere, the cast, the place, and the time. And so um, it's Puccini uh, wrote the opera, and so he's a character in the story. Belasco is the man who wrote the play that Puccini made the opera from, and he's in the story because he was there to help with stage direction. All of that was true. Um, the soprano, Emmy Destin, and the baritone, I think, Amato, no, yeah, Amato, um, they're both in the story and they were both in the cast um, for this premiere. And it was conducted by Toscanini. So I love that it's like so, so immured in, in history. Um, a lot of true things that happened were in the story and for and for good reason. So there was there was some scandal with um, Puccini back in England, his wife Elvira and their maid Doria, and that scandal plays a part in the story. Um, Caruso was extorted by the black hand. <laughs> That's also a historical fact and plays a part in the story. So I love that the author uses real events to ground her story and to propel the mystery. And I, so I just had a lot of fun with, the, with this one. This was very lighthearted and pretty funny at times. Um, Caruso as an amateur sleuth was very entertaining. 
So yeah, so for today's recommendation, I have for you a cadenza for Caruso by Barbara Paul. I hope you can find a copy of it. It's a very fun read. All right, so let me know. Have you read any mysteries that are set in the world of opera? I think it's a great setting for a mystery, but there's not a ton out there. So let me know if you've read any, and I will see you for another video soon. Bye.